Hey everyone and welcome to Math Tips with Mrs. Townsend. Today we're going to be talking about one of the foundational fact strategies for our kids to learn at an early age and those are our doubles facts. So children often have an easier time learning their doubles. With that said, it's still helpful to use concrete and pictorial representations to support development of automaticity. So today I'm going to show you some tools, uh, different manipulatives, some activities and some games that your students can do at home that are really quick and easy to help develop the double SPAC strategy. The first tool that can help with the double SPACs is a wreck and wreck. So for the wreck and wreck, this helps them see um, the benchmark of five and 10. So let's say we have six plus six. Children are able to quickly see, well, that's five and five, which they know is 10, and then one plus one is two, and 10 plus two is 12. Another one might be nine plus nine. So maybe they know that 10 plus 10 is 20, so they remove two, and then they know that nine plus nine is 18. This is a good visual for our students to work on doubles facts with to build that initial understanding. All right, so here I have two tens frames and then some color counters. These are two-sided color counters. One side's red and one side is yellow. So for this one, um, you could take a number cube, a die, and you could have your child roll that and then they make the double of whatever number that it lands on. So for example, one, so they would put one counter in the tens frame and then they would match that counter. Okay, so they would see one plus one is two. Okay, and then they would just do the same thing. So they have six, they would build six and then they would do another six in the other color and then see that that's 12. Okay, now a regular regular dice only go to six. So if you wanted them to be working on their doubles all the way up to nine, you could get 10 sided dice. I believe this is called a dexahedron, um, but it goes all the way from zero to nine. So you could use that um, as well. And then they could build nine in one color, build nine again in another color and see that that equals a sum of 18. These are Cuisinaire rods, and each Cuisinaire rod represents a number one through 10. Their color identifies which number that they are. So this is a really good uh, concrete model that can show students um, and help them identify their doubles facts. So for example, let's say that you had them take one of the red rods, which represents two, and double it, put another red rod right next to it, and then have them discover, take the different rods and line it up and see which one is going to match the two red. Okay, they'll find that the purple rod is the same length as two of the red rods together. Okay, so that shows that four is the double of two. Okay, for example, they could take yellow and double the yellow and then try to find which one is the same length as two yellows. It's the orange rod. So two yellows or five and five make the orange 10. So once your student is able to use those concrete and pictorial representations to understand their double facts, they can start playing some games with digit cards. So this game for this game, you will have person one and person two, two people playing against each other, and they're gonna flip two cards from their deck. I just took the deck of these digit cards and split them in half. Um, so each person would flip two of their digit cards, and then they will find the sum of their two digit cards. Whoever has the highest sum gets one point. Okay, however, if they flip a doubles fact, then they get three points. So for this one, nine plus five is 14, nine plus eight is 17, so person two gets one point because their sum was larger. They put this in the discard pile, and then they'll go again. So they'll flip two cards from their deck. Okay, so we see here that this person had eight 
plus six, which is 14, but this person had a double stack, two plus two, which is four. So this person actually gets three points. Let's do one more round. So again, they're each gonna flip two cards. All right, so this deck has a wild card. You don't have to play with those, or you can use those, and then the child can choose what they want the number to be. Um, of course, they get points for if it's a double. So for this one, I'm sure that they would choose six to make a double, and this person has a double. So then they would battle it out. All right, so this one had three plus one, which is four. This person had a wild card, so four plus four they could make that a four and it would be a double four plus four is eight. So this person would get those three points for having a double. And then you would just continue to play like that. So this one's really fun because you're trying to get those doubles facts, but you're still also still working on your other fact fluency facts that um, you get when you flip the cards. So that was just a few different tools and activities that your students can do to help build their fluency with their doubles facts. Um, this is a really important foundational fact for your students to learn because it's going to help them to develop knowledge of their other facts um, that are derived fact strategies. For example, near doubles, so doubles plus one or doubles plus two, doubles minus one, doubles minus two. Those are all strategies that come about once our students know their doubles facts. So give your kids a little time to just play with doubles and they'll learn them quickly.